Welcome to another Demonic Sweaters live stream. We're going to get started here in a little bit, but before we do, be sure to check out my record label, which is anthillrecordings.bandcamp.com. This is the best way to support what I do here on this channel. You can go there and pick up something by Demonic Sweaters or Manasota or basically anything on the entire label. We sell CDs, vinyl, t-shirts, and lots of cool merch that you can check out there. So that's anthillrecordings.bandcamp.com. Oh, by the way, did you know that I teach drum lessons? If you're interested in learning more about drum lessons, message me on Instagram at demonic underscore sweaters. Did you know that almost all of Demonic Sweater's music is available on all the streaming services? You can check it out there if you don't want to buy something. By the way, have you subscribed yet? Please do. Do you want to try to play drums to some of these songs by yourself? You can pick up drumless versions of all of these songs you hear on my streams on the drumless library which is available at anthillrecordings.bandcamp.com. It currently has 33 songs for only $15. Each song has the BPM and the time signature listed so all you have to do is drop them into your DAW of choice and you can play along just like I do on these streams. That's only $15 for 33 songs. That's a lot of content to practice to. You can also pick up individual songs for $1 a piece, but I highly recommend picking up the full version because every time I add new content to the Drumless Library, you'll get that 100% for free. All you have to do is return to anthillrecordings.bandcamp.com and you can download all the new songs once you purchase the full length version. Again, you can pick up the Drumless Library at anthillrecordings.bandcamp.com it's available exclusively there and only there. And please stay tuned. Today's stream will be starting shortly. Hey YouTube, it's Justin aka Demonic Sweaters here with another live stream today. Today we're going to be doing a little experiment. Going to be doing uh, streaming with Superior Drummer 3 for the first time. Now, this may or may not work uh, so great. We'll see. Um, it was weird. Like the other day I was doing it. Why does my hair look so weird? Um, the other day I was, I was playing with it and it was working fine. Uh, and then just before the stream, what the hell's going on with my mic? Just before the stream, I got on here, and I was getting a lot of lag, so I don't know. I, it's weird. I didn't change anything, uh, but now the performance is just not nearly as good as it was before. So, but we'll see. I think I have it working good enough uh, to get some stuff going here. And uh, hey, Mario the Devil and Burton, or Burtoon, rather. Now, if my mic sounds any different, uh, that is because the way that I have to have this set up is a little bit different than usual. Uh, basically, everything is being piped through Ableton now, including my, my voice, uh, in order to hear uh, me in real time on the stream. So I pretty much have to, just have to do it that way. But here's the drum sounds. Which, they sound really nice. Uh, the only thing is, <clears throat> I actually created two custom kits uh, and Superior Drummer so far. 
actually more than that, but two that I wanted to use today. But unfortunately, the other one is just really doing a number on the CPU. And I'm running through a MacBook Pro here. You know, everything should be fine. And it is fine if I put the the uh, buffer up higher, but the thing is, if I have the buffer too high, then it sounds, uh, I get a lot of latency, which doesn't work so good for the live stream. So, <clears throat> I don't know, we'll see. I, and what I was trying to say, though, is I'm really not going to be switching kits like I normally do. It's basically just going to be staying on this one drum sound uh, pretty much the entire the entire stream. Which is, it's a good sound, so it doesn't really matter that much, but, you know, the one advantage to using a module is you can quickly, you know, scroll through the different sounds and, uh, you know, have different sounds for different songs and stuff like that, which I like to do a lot. Um, with a uh, superior drummer, even if you are, you know, even if you do have different, hold on, let me catch my breath here, different patches, you know, created and selected within uh, superior drummer for different songs, the time that it takes just to load one of those in is actually pretty long uh, compared to a module where on a module you just push a button and it's there. Uh, in Superior Drummer, it basically has to load up all of the samples, and some of them are like 4 gigabytes, so, <clears throat> or more. Um, so it can take a little bit of time, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, let me get a drink of coffee. Um, merch. We have merch. Demonic Sweaters t-shirts. Uh, you can pick those up, um, down below, or in the sidebar, or whatever that is. Um... Oh, and the double bass drum. Thanks for bringing up a double bass drum pedal there, uh, Mario. Um, right now I have a PDP-5 something or other. <laughs> I can't remember the, the model number. It's 500 something, um, which is really old. I've had it for a really long time, like 10 years at least. And so I wanted to get something different. And uh, I'm trying to raise enough money. You can see down below there the new double kick drum pedal fund. I have $18.45 so far. Trying to get, yeah, I think it's the 502, Mario. Uh, trying to get up to 500 just to give me a, you know, a couple choices of what I can get. So if you guys want to donate uh, to that down below, there's a link in the description of the video. And it'll also pop up here in the chat automatically every now and then. Merch. There's CDs. CDs and downloads and everything at anthillrecordings.bandcamp.com. Such as Manasota uh, full length, self titled full length album on 180 gram vinyl for 10 bucks. We've got Demonic Sweater CDs. Can you draw me on CD? Well, I don't know why it's not focusing very well. There we go. Oh, because the green screen. <laughs> uh, on CD, I think that's, what is it, $5? Or something like that. It's 5 or $7. It's professionally made. Digi uh, Echo Wallet pack thing. and uh, Or you can stream everything on Spotify and all the streaming services and all that good stuff. <laughs> yeah, what's a CD? Um, yeah, the PDP-502 is really not bad. Um, it's a decent pedal for the money. But I've had this one for so long. I mean, it has lasted. You know, it's lasted like 10 years, like I said, at least. Actually, longer than that. I think I got this thing in like 2008. So, yeah, that's crazy old. <clears throat> or 2000, yeah, around 2008, 2010, somewhere around there. Um, but, yeah, it's the only thing with it now, it's starting to feel a little bit rough. Like, it's got, like, like there's some, it's just the smoothness is gone. It's got, the, like, you can feel, like, not catching, but I don't know how to describe it. It just feels, it just feels like a, like, when you're riding a bike and, like, the sprocket's dirty, you know, and, like, and it's got this, like, roughness to it. That's what it feels like. But it still works okay. Uh, but I figure it's about time for a new one. Anyway. <laughs> Damn, that's that's when I was born. You were born then? Jeez, how old are you, Mario? Anyway, okay, let's go ahead and play a song. We'll see how this does. I had to set my buffer a little bit higher, so there's kind of a little bit of latency, but I don't think it's noticeable. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play... What? How about close to me. So here we go. This is close to me off of Can You Draw Me?
That was close to me off of Can You Draw Me? Oh, wait, no, that's on 333. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <clears throat> well, that was a little weird, uh, but Mario the Devil, I can't believe you were born. And I think, I can't believe you're 14. And I can't believe 14 years ago, like, that was already 14 years ago, 2008. That's crazy. Uh, that just seems like no time at all ago. Uh, but let's see, you said you had to go to school. Uh, very cool, though. Thanks for coming on. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for an inexpensive uh, double bass drum pedal, the 
Uh, PDP 502 is definitely a good one. Definitely very good. And hey, Mara. And uh, Bar Bartoon. And also, thank you, Mark, for the donation for the double kick drum pedal. Very, very nice. Thanks, man. Thirty-three. Now we got $33. It went by on the screen there too fast. I couldn't see how much you put in, but uh, my math sucks. But it was, a, it was a good one. It was a good donation. Um, hey, Nigel, how's it going? So... Superior Drummer 3, my first, you know, I'm thinking, I have mixed feelings on this software, actually. It sounds really good, no doubt. Sounds really good. But for this type of application, I'm not sure that it's the best thing to use. Um, I actually think that <clears throat> using the module is a little more flexible and reliable. Uh, for recording, no doubt about it, the, you know, SD3 is going to give you by far uh, the most options and the better sound. Uh, so, you know, and we're, we're working on a new Is That Donnie track, and I'm using it on there, and it sounds really good. Like, really, really excited uh, to how it, where it sounds on there. But I'm not sure if I'll continue streaming with it after today. We'll see. Um, if I can figure out what's going on with my computer and why the latency got so much worse today. Could you slay some 30-second notes? <laughs> Well, it depends on on the tempo and what you're, you know, on which, how you're talking about doing them. But, I mean, 30-second notes, the easiest way to do it on the hi-hat is if you're just playing, uh, hey, Bertune, thank you so much, 420, thanks. If you're playing 16th notes on the hi-hat, 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4, and you just turn that into a double, like, double stroke roll, then you'll have 30-second notes. So, like... Yeah, so there you go. How's that? I think I need a new mic. This thing, every time I touch it now, it's like going quick, 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 quick. All right, what else should we play? How about, I'm trying to think of ones that are going to sound okay with this particular drum set. Um, Nigel Thomas says, uh, damn, it's so cool to be able to do that. I've been trying to learn those. Well, the key is just working on your double stroke roll. I mean, the double stroke roll, you have to get that clean. And to get the double stroke roll clean, it's very important to have the correct grip. You know, it's kind of hard to see with my gloves on, but my hands are like basically fu freaked, fucked right now because of all the dry weather and cold weather. So I have to use the gloves uh, today. I can't even take them off at all. Or I'll, ble I'll bleed. Uh, oh, wait, camera switched. Um, <clears throat> but having the correct grip is really important. And uh, I always, you know, I stress this a lot with my students, you know, is to not do this. Like, people, I'll see people do this. The, their back fingers will stick up or even their pinky. And you're going to lose a lot of control when you do that. And then also, don't do this. Like, I see people doing this, too. I see, like, experienced drummers doing that. And I'm like, man, that is not good. First off, it's terrible for your finger to do that. And then secondly, when you have your finger, your index fingers up on your, your stick like that, you lose what I call the pivot point right here, um, which is like between your index finger, between the first and second knuckle, or what is that? Is that the third knuckle or the first knuckle? Anyway, the tip in the, in the middle part of your, your index finger um, and your thumb, you get this pivot point. In fact, I'll move my fingers just so you can see it. And the stick can move like that. And then you use the back fingers as your control of that pivot point. And so depending on what you're doing with these back fingers is how you can control those bounces. You know, and get them very clean. And, you know, different rudiments and stuff. So that's really the key, um, just getting getting that the grip, you know, having the right grip. Uh, you can't be squeezing it too hard. 
in the back, and you also can't be like loose in the back, like totally. These back fingers play an important role, but it's all about you know giving the st the stick that that motion back there, ab ability to have that motion. Oh, another thing that's weird with Superior Drummer in Ableton, not in other things, but in Ableton, the choke function doesn't work. Um, I can get it to work on my other module. Uh, it has to do with something called gate time in the module, but the TD-11 doesn't have a gate time adjustment. Uh, I could fix it in the TD's, TD-6, but I didn't have the TD-6 hooked up, and plus the TD-6 doesn't have as good a hi-hat hi response. Uh, in Superior Drummer, but I don't really care because I hardly, honestly, I hardly ever choke my cymbals. Like, hardly ever. So, anyway, let's play another song. I've been talking forever here. I do need more coffee, though. Let's have a drink of that first. So, hopefully everybody's staying sane out there and, and safe. I know I have several friends that are having a hard time with this like billionth wave of COVID and you know it's just becoming really taxing on the the brain for a lot of people and I've known a lot more people who's ca <coughs> caught it recently uh, thankfully none of them had had anything really serious but um it's just the the constant you know news about it it's why I just don't don't watch news I, I'm like you know I think news like, just shouldn't be watched. I do, I do not watch. I mean, every now and then I'll look at something. But I try to avoid it. Because, you know, <clears throat> one of my friends, their rationality was, well, I like to stay informed. That's what, that's what he told me. And I was like, there's a lot of things to be informed about besides what the news tells you. Like, and I don't even mean that in like a conspiratorial kind of sense. Like, I mean, just like all news focuses on is horror. <laughs> you know, like, and bad stuff. Um, and there's a lot more to life than all that stuff, you know? So you may be staying infor informed on all the horrors, but you're not staying informed on all the pleasures, you know, and all the, the good things. So in order to find all of those, you kind of have to, you know, just live your life, basically. Um, you just can't watch that stuff all the time. I mean, of course, you know, if it's like a hurricane coming or, you know, some giant piece of news that you should be aware of something to, you know, escape, you know, or something like that, then it does make sense. But in general, I just try not to watch it ever because it's horrible. And it doesn't, it doesn't add any benefit to my life whatsoever. So that's my advice. Avoid the news. And thank you uh, for the subscription there. Uh, a master full juice, a master full juice on uh, Twitch. Okay, I'm really gonna play a song now. <coughs> Let's do it. How about no disc? It's just right there, so I'm just gonna kind of play it. It's right there next to my my list. <laughs> Here we go. No disc.
All right, that was No Disc off of Can You Draw Me. And uh, that one went pretty good, I think, with the Superior Drummer. Uh, not, I didn't hear too many glitches that time or anything. Um, I wonder if I could, <clears throat> maybe whatever my computer was doing to make it kind of laggy stopped. So let me try to lower the buffer setting, and maybe I can get a better latency. Let's see if this will work. Test, test, test. Okay, let's see if I get any CPU spikes. Yeah, a little bit. It's weird. I'm not sure what's causing it. It's something odd because it's staying around like 15% and then just suddenly will spike up to 100%. Like out of nowhere. And I have the Wi-Fi off. All background apps are off. And that definitely feels better to play like that because there's a lot less latency. I mean, I could switch. Um, yeah, I do have the, the sample library on a portable drive because it's, well, it's not a portable drive. It's actually an SD, SD card, uh, but it's a fast one. You know, it should be good. Um, and actually, when I use Easy Drummer, I don't have the same problem. Uh, I think it's just that, you know, the samples and everything just in uh, Superior Drummer are much uh, higher. You know, they require, like, more resources or something. So, um, I don't know. It's weird. I'm not sure what's... I mean, it could be that, but it's just so huge, I can't even fit it all on the uh, internal drive of this computer. Um... Well, uh, Bertoon, this computer doesn't have a task manager. <laughs> this is a MacBook. Uh, but I did check that. I checked the MacBook equivalent, which is Activity Monitor. And, uh, I mean, there's nothing. It's just It just seems to be Superior Drummer doing it occasionally, um, which I don't really know why. Uh, but it's okay. I think it's. I don't think it's so bad where it's going to make the, the stream, like, terrible. So let me go ahead and play another song. Let's do Taurus. Let's see how this one goes. It's faster. Here we go.
right, that was Taurus off of the Driving Songs EP, as well as uh, Rock From Home. It's on two... Or, sorry, uh, not Rock From Home. Uh, <coughs> uh, Earth Asylum. <laughs> it's on two releases. Earth Asylum is the full the full uh, release, and then Driving Songs is the, uh, the EP that it came out on first. Uh, requests? Depends on the request. Normally I don't, but if it's something that I know and I feel like playing, I guess I could. Uh, say, says a master for juice. Um, muffin cookies. Hey, muffin cookies. Um, said, hell yeah, thank you. And uh, great. How's playing with gloves on different than without? I've never tried. Well, uh, these are drummer gloves. You know, these are the Zildjian uh, drummer's gloves. And I like them. You know, obviously, it's better without if you can. But my ha my hands are just screwed right now. Uh, they're all cracked and, you know, just super dry from the winter. So I'm trying to let them heal. <clears throat> Last stream, I took them off a lot, and I think that actually made them a lot worse uh, because they were they were already starting to get bad. And then, you know, I was, I was teaching a lot without them and then going outside and washing my hands a billion times. And <laughs> uh, No, I don't know anything about the band, uh, Igor. Sorry. Um, never even heard of them. Uh... And no, I don't really sweat in them. My hands never sweat, actually. I'm not a sweaty person, honestly. I have to be really, really hot to start sweating. Um, hey there, Italy. In Italy, uh, mad glottis, mad glottis, glottis, glottis. Um, thanks for coming on. A master full juice. I, normally, I don't do covers. I did a couple of last last week, but I, for the most part, I don't play covers. Everything's original. Um, so, you can request them, if you want. <laughs> I don't guarantee that I'll play any of them, but you could, you could try. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not really a cover person, and plus, you know, doing covers, I, my streams get demonetized, so that is another reason why I don't. But I have a whole other YouTube channel where I do do covers, but I see you're on Twitch, so... I know that's like a big thing with a lot of t Twitch drummers as they play a lot of covers. <clears throat> it's not really my thing. More of an original uh, person. Nothing against them. You'll definitely get a lot more attention that way. But I prefer mostly to play my own music. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me, let me check out Igor. I've never heard them. So I'll have to check them out. Can I do that right now? Let me see. I don't think you guys will hear this because it's on my... I don't have it set up for you guys to hear it, but I'm just curious what they sound like. Just, just listening. Let's open it up. Just vocals so far. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Interesting. This isn't okay. Then it then it switches up to like more metal here in the middle. I know you guys can't hear what I'm listening to. At least I don't think you can. But this probably isn't something that I would well number one listen to. Or to play a cover of. <laughs> no offense, but uh, it's interesting. Just not really my style. But that's cool. Um, all right, so what am I going to do? Let's do another song. I'm, You know, this stream is not... I'm not totally in love with how this is working. So I'm not sure how long I'm going to go here, honestly. But I'll hang out and talk with you guys for a while. Let's go ahead and play... Non Madal. I think that should work. So here we go. This is Namadal off of the P Pandemos.
Hello. Test. All right, that was Namadal off of the Pan Demos. And I think that's going to be all the, the songs I'm going to try to play on this stream, guys. It's just not working very well, unfortunately. Um, I was afraid of that. Um, I'll hang out and talk a little bit longer if you guys want, but let me turn off my scene switcher here. And I really can't switch easily uh, in during scream, sc scream, stream to go back to the you know the module because everything's like totally different to do it that way. Uh, so <clears throat> I'd have to get levels again and do like a full sound check and everything. And it usually takes me like 20 minutes or so to do all of that. So I'm just gonna hang out. Let's just hang out a little bit and uh, come back next week back to using one of the drum modules. I'll either be using the TD-11 or the TD-6 again. Uh, the TD-11 I haven't done as much. And last week it actually I used the TD-11 and I thought it was great. Um, and the TD-6 I'm really used to as well for the streams. I get my coffee. <clears throat> it's just, yeah, when you're using software, that's the thing. You know, it just depends on what you want to do with electronic drums. Um, now, of course, I probably could use Easy Drummer and not have these issues because it just doesn't use nearly as many uh, resources. And there's probably other plugins too, like Steven Slate drums and, you know, some of the other ones out there. I know there's some free ones <coughs> that exist. So one of those options may be better. If I weren't using Ableton, I know when I tried to open a Superior Drummer in Reaper, it was actually much better, like a lot less resources being used because Ableton's kind of a resource hog and it's on its own. But all of my, my entire set list is built in Ableton, so I pretty much have to use where all the click track is and everything. Um, so that basically is why I do that. Um, I don't know. What do you guys want to talk about? See any good movies or anything? I watched the Dexter, uh, what's it called, New Blood. I was a fan of the old show and just finished New Blood. And I have to say, <clears throat> it's a strong 5 out of 10. It's like not great. Not that bad, but it really was kind of like, eh, there it was. You know, there was a, another Dexter season. Uh, I don't know. It's not like I had anything really negative to say about it. Um, but it just, it didn't, not a whole lot happened. I think that was my main problem with it. Uh, I mean, it does give you some closure, I guess, but I don't know. Other than that, it wasn't, it wasn't that great. Um. Artoon says, don't look up on Netflix is pretty good. Yeah, I've heard that from several people. I don't know. kind of. I, I almost don't want to watch it because I know what it's about already. And, like, I don't want to put that in my mind. Like, I don't, I don't think people should be... <laughs> this is going to sound new agey. But there's a whole manifestation thing. Like, what you focus on becomes reality. Blah, blah, blah. We're already in a pandemic. The last thing we freaking need is a fucking comet to come down or something. You know what I mean? Enough, you know, like enough with this stuff. Let's start thinking positive thoughts, <laughs> good thoughts. Let's get out of this. Like, I don't know. So that's kind of why I don't want... There's actually an old... It was either Twilight Zone or Night Gallery. Um, I think it was Night Gallery, if you're familiar with that show, a long time ago. Um, Night Gallery was the show after the Twilight Zone uh, that... What's-his-face... Um, Rod Serling, what's his face? Rod Serling, the creator of the Twilight Zone, created Night Gallery afterwards. And there was one that had that very premise of there was these people that kept talking about or something like that about a comet landing and this kid, and he was trying to warn everybody they needed to stop thinking about it, you know, and stop focusing on it because it would happen or something like that. And then it happened. Like, it was really weird. Like, but it, it's like literally exactly what I was just saying here. Like, it, that whole episode was like pretty much exactly like that. Um, Thomas says it's cool. You're trying different things. SD3, Easy Drummer 2. I really enjoy that. Yes, Easy Drummer and Reaper is much lighter on resources than Ableton. Yeah, Ableton is just like a resource. I mean, it's it does a lot, but R Reaper is amazing like how little it, it actually uses. Uh, Gray Eminence says I tend to agree as pretty critical type normally. I like to watch old nostalgic things lately and focus on music. Yeah, I mean, it is true. I mean, I, you know, it does sound new agey, but it is true to some extent, you know, and especially when you have large groups of people focusing on one thing, it really can make things happen. Like, it really does. I don't know. I, I believe that. I've seen it happen in my life. You know, if somebody keeps talking and talking and talking about something, 
next thing you know, it happens to them, you know, good or bad. Like, it's really one of those things. You just have to be careful. It's like you, we are partially responsible for creating reality, I think. Partially. I don't think it's 100%. That's the thing. It's like you get these things like the secret and all that stuff where it's like they get into it where they say like, oh, you can, you have superpowers and all this stuff. And like, if you start to get way too into it like that, then it doesn't work. But if you just remain aware that, you know, you do have some connection to the creation of, of reality, not a total control over it, but there is a connection and it's a group connection of it between everybody. We have to be really c careful as a society as to what we're focusing our energy on and our thoughts on. And what the scary thing is, and I think that's one of the reasons why this, <laughs> maybe I'm going out on a limb here with the, the, the new agey woo-woo, but I think it's one of the reasons why this pandemic just won't seem to end because people will not stop talking about it, arguing about it, you know, this is the right way, this works, this doesn't work, just constant bickering back and forth, back and forth, the news cycle, everything. It's like it's never ending and more stuff keeps developing. I'm not saying, you know, bury your head in the sand exactly, but you have to like focus on other things. Remain aware of things that are negative, you know, in the background, you know, like you can't pretend like they don't exist because then they can come and bite you in the ass too. But you don't want to obsess over them. Obsessing over over them only gives them power. Anyway, that's my my two cents on that stuff. And it served me well to have that kind of philosophy uh, through my life. Because when I was younger, I didn't know that. And once I did know that, uh, I noticed a big... Once I figured that out, I noticed a big change in how my life unfolded around me. Uh, once I started to, like, live by those guidelines. <clears throat> anyway. Yellowstone is really good. Caught me by surprise. I didn't think I would like it. Good story. Lines shot in beautiful part of the country. I haven't heard of that one yet. Um, what did I... What did I watch? I watched something that I liked. Oh, no. I was... And I talked about this already. It was... I listened to them. They were X-Files audio books. I listened to them on the drive home from Florida. Uh, the other day. Why does my arm look so big? It looks like I've been like, maybe because I have this thing like, like uh, rolled up, but and it's the camera angle, but I am not that big. Like, <laughs> it looks like I have like a huge muscle here. Uh, <laughs> maybe it's the lighting or something. Um, yeah, Yellowstone. I'll have to check that out. Uh, what else? I started like four or five movies and turned them off halfway through. I didn't make it through them. <laughs> Uh, I got a couple of symbols, like acoustic symbols. Um, I don't have anywhere to play my acoustic drums right now, but I'm actually going, I rented, there's like a rehearsal, like hourly rehearsal place <coughs> down the street from here. So I rented a couple hours there uh, for tomorrow. So I'm going to go over there and check out these new symbols and make some videos on them. Just because I really miss playing acoustic drums. I haven't played acoustic drums for a while. And after a while, it's kind of like electronic drums, especially the cymbals. It's just like you get tired of hitting them. You're like, man, I want to hit like a piece of metal that like reacts when I hit it, not like a dead piece of rubber. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I got a Sabian B8X uh, ride cymbal and a B8X uh, thin crash cymbal, 18-inch. Now, these are entry-level cymbals, I realize that, but... They sound actually really nice. I was surprised. The B8X, the reason why I wanted the B8X ride cymbal is because I was in Guitar Center in uh, Florida and I was tapping on it. And to me, the thing sounded nearly identical. They had a, a Peisty 2002 uh, medium, or just a regular 2002 20 inch ride there, like right next to it. And I was hitting the bo both of them and they sounded almost exactly the same. Like I was really amazed at how good that B8X ride cymbal sounded. Like the old B8s, you know, I have some some B8X effect cymbals that I really like, um, but the old B8 cymbals didn't sound so great. I mean, they weren't bad for the money, uh, but like some of them sounded okay, and some, certain drummers like Damon Che of Don Caballero can use the B8, the B8 Pro uh, ride cymbal in the hi-hats, and he, he gets good sounds out of those. But for the most part, you know, they sound kind of kind of shrill. 
Um, but this particular one I thought sounded really nice. And then I heard the 18-inch the uh, thin crash, and they were both so cheap. I was like, I'll just, you know, I'll just buy both of them. I just ordered them from uh, uh, Memphis Drum Shop, which is a great place to purchase uh, cymbals from. I mean, I'm sure you, you've seen their videos on, on YouTube if you watch any cymbal demos. Number one, because there's no sales tax. They have free shipping and no sales tax, which is amazing. Like, it makes it so much cheaper than anywhere just because of that. Um, so I usually buy all my cymbals from them. And then also, I have another electronic drum set on the way. Well, actually, it's already here. It's at my school. It's a uh, Simmons SD1250, uh, the brand new one that from Simmons. Uh, they had reached out to me and asked if I would like to do a video on it, so they sent me one, and I had them ship it to the school because I don't have any room here. So we're going to do the video there and uh, set it up there, and uh, you know I'm just going to use that to teach on uh, over there. And I still have the... There's the Avatar kit that's over there, too, so we're going to have two electronic kits over there, which is going to be nice. And uh, I know that the, the hi-hat, when Justin from 65 Drums did his video on that one, he had an issue with the hi-hat, but then they released a firmware update to fix it. So he said, you know, in his follow-up video, he was able to fix it, and it seemed like it worked pretty good. So it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of, uh, got a lot of pads. It's got a three-zone ride and two crashes and hi-hat. Uh, four toms, which is pretty cool, and I think a 12-inch snare, so that should be good, especially for a teaching kit. It'll be a lot of a lot of stuff for the kids to hit, which will be nice. Um, yeah, and I uh, got a new single out. Uh, you probably probably saw that on my channel called Jenny Z. I haven't played that one live here on a stream yet, uh, but I will pretty soon. And that's pretty much all. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. I don't think. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's pretty much everything. I need to eat some lunch, I guess. And uh, I'm trying to trying to go on a diet. Well, I've been doing pretty good. I think I've already lost about five pounds, which is great because I was getting super overweight there. Um, but I've just you know nothing crazy. Just avoiding the obviously bad things like carbs and uh, trying to eat salad and fruits and you know, low fat things and just, just watching what I eat instead of being completely throwing caution to the wind. Like I was for the, like, I think October through December <laughs> of 2021, I was just like eating anything I want. I'm like bag of Doritos. Sure. Okay. I'll just pound that entire thing. And uh, yeah. So anyway, but it, man, it just, it makes you feel like crap when you eat bad. And, uh, you know, I don't, I, it's not like I was always eating bad even then. Like, I would still eat, like, pretty good. But I would just, you know, chow down on snacks, you know, and just a lot of in-between meal eating and stuff like that. That was that was really starting to have an effect. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Any questions before we get out of here for the day? Uh, feel free to post them in the chat. I'll do my best to answer. But, uh, yeah, that was... I don't know. Mediocre experiment, I guess. I thought it would it would work better than that. Uh, yesterday and the day, day before, it seemed like it was working better. And then, for whatever reason, today when I turned on my computer, it was just being an ass. Like, just not really giving the same performance. Anyway, I don't know. I know what it was. Anyway, I guess there's no more questions, so I'll see you guys really soon. Make sure to uh, stay warm. It's very cold if you're in the Northeast. It's like 17 degrees outside right now. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell icon, all that good stuff. And Oh, wait, here's another. Uh, Jacob Lifford, your average drummer, says it does pretty well. Sometimes I have a bit of an issue with the hi-hat triggering, but it could be the fact that I'm using the old Alesis DM8 USB kit. Need to upgrade a bit. Uh, very cool. Okay, guys. I'll see you all really soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye.